was a shepherd who gained popularity by first playing music, then he gained more by killing the giant. He became king when Saul is killed in battle. Eventually, he had to run away from his son Absalom because he tried to overthrow him, the audacity. When Absalom dies, he comes back and appoints his son Solomon as king. Guess who's coming to dinner? David! King David the dancer! Come on up! King, oh, that's mine. King David! All right, one more hand for David. <laughs> she got the basket from Moses' mother and saved it. Then she adopted Moses when he was. Then she adopted Moses and he became a key part of the Exodus. Who is coming to dinner? Pharaoh's daughter. Do you say that again? Absolutely. Let's give Elamite a hand for that beat here. Pharaoh's daughter. I did not know this one. I just called her. was the older brother of a famous leader who brought them to the land of milk and honey. He was married to Elisheba and his son's name was Eliezer. His famous line in the Ten Commandments is, the people made me do it. Guess who's coming to dinner? Aaron. Aaron. We have an Aaron. Aaron is sleeping. <laughs> it is past Aaron's bedtime, okay? <laughs> he was born among animals and stayed in Egypt for a few years in fear of being killed by a horrible king. He is a jack of all trade. He was a lit bartender, he was an avid wine connoisseur, because he knew how to turn water into wine, and he knew how to throw down a party like the Last Supper. Guess who's coming to dinner? Yes, you are!